all right guys in today's video i'll be showing you guys four editing tips using CapCut online video editor and also we'll be using the new ai features that comes with CapCut online such as script to video and also auto caption yes i know today we are using CapCut online version which is absolutely free and beneficial to those who have simple computer specifications who want to be creating these stunning videos that can be edited anywhere all right guys let's get started so with the online version you can use google chrome or microsoft edge i'm using google chrome for this and when you sign into your account you will see this so with this we're going to start with create a new video then i already have my files that i'm going to use in my media so we're going to use this video you can find out on pexels.com i'll leave a link down below just click on that let me make this small so i can see more then click on the video command or control c to copy then command v or control v to paste on top of it then click on the down video go to the right side you can see our parameters on that side click on basic then on opacity take it down to zero then click on the top video and let's place it right on the screen to fill the screen then go back to the right side and click on mask we're going to use either circle or rectangle and with this tutorial i'll use rectangle for this effect now i'm just going to move it to this side and try to select the subject or the model in the video or the thing that you want to remove from the screen then go back to the right side increase the feather a little bit then take your playhead to the starting point of it now we need to make a keyframe on the mask go to the right side scroll down and make a keyframe on size and position and if you want to know more information about keyframes i'll leave a card up here you can check on that later on now take your playhead to somewhere here and try to move the mask to follow the subject or whatever you want to remove from the video now i'm just going to follow the same steps and i'll be fast with this side so now we have the mask perfectly tracking the subject now go to the right side and click on this invert icon and it's going to leave this black box so now we're just selecting that side and this side is going to show then click on the down video go back to the right side on opacity let's take it back to 100 and we're going to work around this just scroll down we're going to use the x position just increase it till the subject or the object you want to remove disappear on the screen now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like this new ai feature is very helpful to people like me who find script writing very difficult to do with this new ai tool you can easily create a whole script to a video with just few words that you put in the tool and later will be paired with images background music voiceovers and also captions all at the same time and this new ai feature is available globally and you can start using it by adding only english prompts so with this you can find it on the top side on your home page this is it script to video just click on that and it's going to take you to a new page then you have to press the slash key to activate the ai tool then from here you can type in a short sentence that you want the ai feature to write so you can see it's created a script for us hi there i'm here with some great fitness ideas for people age 50 and up so when you scroll down you can get the rest of it and this is just script one when you use this arrow key to go to next it's going to create a new idea for you so you can go as much to script five and if you want to go more you can create on this and it's going to generate more script for you so from here you can just click on the next to go to the various ones and if you don't like it you can just click on this card and you're going to delete it and so far usually with the first script i'm so happy with it so i'm just going to go back to the first script and click on use scripts then as you can see it gives you all the script on this side and now this is the good news about this part if you're not really good with video editing you can just click on generate video and it's going to give you this pop-up window so with the smart generation CapCut is going to create the video for you using materials that it thinks it's suitable for your script but with the custom generation you can be adding your media your videos and also your songs to fit the scripts 
So in this tutorial, I'm gonna go for smart generation. And then with the aspect ratio, if you're going for YouTube, you can go for 16 by nine. And if you're going for Instagram and TikTok, you can just go for nine by 16. Then with the voice, I'm gonna go with my name, Joey, just because it's the channel name. So I'm gonna go for that. And then you can just click on generate video and wait for CapCut to do it magic. Hi there. I'm here with some great fitness art. So, so far from testing this out, the images that mostly they use, it's not really that good. So from here, you can just click on edit video. But if you don't want to do anything to the editing, then you can just click on export and you're going to get your final video. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to click on edit video and it's going to take us to CapCut Online Video Editor. So now it's taking us to CapCut Online Video Editor and the top, that's our captions and this is the voiceovers and also this is the audio. So if you don't want the audio, you can just click on that and delete that. And then you can go to audio and get some songs from this side. I'm gonna go back and use the music that comes with it. So now let's say if this video, I'm not really happy with it or this image, I'm not happy with it and I want to change it, I can just go to media and you can just import the video here. But with this, I'm just going to go to my cloud space that I've already imported some videos on there. Then I can just drag the video and drop it exactly where I want to change. So with this, I just want to change the beginning of it. So I'll just drag and choose a point that I want to choose and then click on done and right there it's going to replace that video for me that i want to use for this editing so with this you can just go ahead and do it for the rest of the videos and also with the captions if you're not really happy with it when you click on that you can see it has this preset that you can go with so let's say if you want the yellow and black you can just click on that and it's going to change on that side too and then you can change the test or something you want to correct on this side too on that very spot so now from here if you're happy with the whole edit you can just go to export click on that and it has these options but i will always recommend that you download it to your pc or to your machine check how it looks like before uploading to the various platforms so with this i'll just click on download and then i'll choose the project name and then choose the resolution on this side i'll go for 1080 leave quality just like that frame rate just like that and then i'll click on export so from here you can download it by just clicking on download and it's going to download to your pc then when you go to your downloads you're going to see it right there this is it and then you'll play I'm here with some great fitness ideas for people then from here you can just upload to the various platforms that you want to upload to so with this we're going to use this video and once again you can get it on pexels.com when you click on it it's going to drop in the timeline just click on the video then go to the right side and click on this smart tools and from there you can see it has this retouch if you want to retouch your videos and also with this remove background this is the feature that we're going to use just click on that and then select auto removal now we wait for CapCut Online to do its magic. Now I'm gonna play through and show you guys. You can see the background is removed. And now if you wanna place any object or something behind this video, let me just drag it up and move it from the main timeline. And then I'll go to text. And then let me just put heading down in the main timeline. Drag it this way and drag it this way. So from here you can see it goes right behind the subject or the object. And then let's say, let me click on this, Command C to copy or Control C, then Command V or Control V to paste on top of it. Let's drag it down below on this side. Then with this, click on that, go to the right side and click on this Smart Tools. Then with the auto removal, let's just untick it. And now when you see carefully, the text go behind the subject. Because when you look at it, this is a cutout and this is the main video with the background. And then I'll play and show you guys. Easily done, you can add your text behind a subject or your object. And this is a video I was just saying something random. You know, in this life, so we're gonna create auto caption from this. Just go to the left side of the software and right there you can see captions. Click on that and then click on auto captions. Then we're gonna use English, I was speaking English, but if you wanna select different languages, you can get it right here. And then click on generate. 
So from here, once again, if you want to do some changes to the captions, you can just click on that and then you can choose one of the options on this very side. And also if the text is so long on the screen and you want to make it maybe three or five words, you can just go to the left side and break them there. So just drop your cursor on this side and press enter and it's going to create or generate a new text or captions for you on the last line. If you want to start CapCut online for yourself, please check on the link in the description box below. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.